Good morning, folks. Northern Canada was treated to a fiery splendor as a meteor rocked their sky last night, both visibly and audibly. Interesting article as we've been discussing sinkholes a lot, especially on our website discussions. Now we have a new way to monitor and analyze those sinkholes and potentially even predict them. Starting in South America for the weather where the rainforest gives the top storm spot today to the southern low crossing now. You will remember yesterday we took a look at some of the events in Africa. Here's what's happening. That drive off the Indian Ocean is strong over about a 900 mile portion of the east coast in Madagascar. The precipitable water acting like a sparse atmospheric river and causing all those problems. Down under, we have the next tropical system developing. That low is not alone and already affecting the coastline. Check out the humidity overlay for the contrast created by that storm. Yesterday we looked into a melt watch for the Arctic, but today we see the pattern shifted already. There's still drive northward and some lows definitively entering the North Pole zone. But the major movement is on the southernmost low and he appears to have cut off his northern brothers. Good for the ice, not so good for Ireland and the UK. Last but not least, the Pacific system is still creating heavy precipitation at the coastline. It's mostly north today. Meanwhile, the cooler temperatures do dip down into the central states, riding the southern drive on the backside of a weak low crossing the states today. Thunderstorms possible south of the convergence line. Top quakes of the day occurred in the southwest Pacific, just north of New Zealand. We also saw a moderate rumble south of Africa this morning. Puerto Rico taking a moderate swarm along with Oklahoma and the west coast, but only of smaller magnitudes thus far. Earth's magnetic connection to the sun is just over the limb on the backside. The earth-facing spots need work. Northern group is small and not mixed well enough. Meanwhile, the southern incoming group have a couple good umbras, but no magnetic mixing at all. A couple more on the limb incoming. Coronal fields opening up for a few days to present a tiny but more equatorial coronal hole than the last. The interplanetary magnetism can affect Earth at this time. And in 211 angstrom, she's easy to spot, dark and near the center. I'm not sure if the sun could be more quiet. No flaring or solar wind jolts, but a coronal hole stream is expected tonight or tomorrow. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.